more reasons why I'm great. And really, this is how everyone should be. You should, it shouldn't be worried about someone saying, oh, you're narcissistic or you're uh, stuck up. Or You should be like, then why aren't you? Why are you using psychology terms and making it sound bad if you don't even have enough self-love that you would go around and be like, damn straight, I'm narcissistic and stuck up and snobby. And so are all my friends. We think we're all the shits. And we are. And we know it. And we're fucking 100% in love with ourselves and our own reflections. Or else we wouldn't be walking around out in public yet because you wouldn't be ready. Um, but here's more reasons why I think I'm the fucking bomb. Uh, I, last night, fucking, you know, I didn't go out on St. Patrick's Day, but I had a good time last night, right? And um, I was supposed to go spend the night at Graham, so I was a little you know, lonely and stuff like that, but I was, uh, I was a good friend's children, and then I waited, and then I fucking danced my ass off in the kitchen, and when I fuck things up, or blah, blah, you know, I still have a child-like heart, and, um, you know, there's nobody else I'd rather fight with than Kira's other mom, because for, for years, we did, and, and Jamie kind of likes it too, you know, um, but it's like good, good old fashioned play fighting and she's not even paying attention, but it's just, it's a good, a good place to be in. Right. Um, I guess if I was married, you know, I would fucking, um, blame him for everything or something like that. But it's, it's the best I can do is my daughter's other, other mom. But when I really think about and I get in an angry space or whatever, I, I didn't go out and do anything destructive. I didn't go call an ex-boyfriend and yell at him on the phone about some bullshit stuff that doesn't matter anymore. I was quiet. I had my headphones on. I danced and I vented to myself so I could listen to it the next day um, rather than go out in public and talk to a stranger and start an argument with them or something like that. I'd much rather argue with myself first. Um, and my inner core values are still the same. I'm not going to just go out and get drunk some night and wake up next to somebody and be like, oh, I fell in love with somebody and they work for a defense contractor and they've changed my worldviews, you know, and stuff like that. Or, oh my God, I fell in love with one good, you know, blah, 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 blah. No, you know, I can appreciate those people and be nice to them on a acquaintance or surfacey, um fake level but they're never going to make it into my inner circle um you know except for people that are like uncle joey who was a medic for the army and his friends um but they are like the people in charms that become you know angels um they're not out there you know learning to um hurt other people they're out there trying to save lives and they have the discretion on the field to say fuck you i'm not helping you even if you are enlisted with me i'm gonna help this child in a foreign country or this farmer in a foreign country why because i'm here and i have the training and i might be supposed to be on your team but i'm gonna do the right thing out in the world and so i do have you know a great appreciation for like medics and stuff like that um but, but that, that's, that's, and, that, and I've always been like that. Cause I had to talk to about Jamie about, it, you know, before we got married and his, and me, his brother and his friends and stuff. And it was a big process and the kids missed all that. Um, but like, you know, I, I like, I, I love my dad dearly. Am I going to go to his funeral someday? Probably not because he's said disrespectful things to me. Um, and he hasn't come and apologized for them. But, he, you know, he, he made some comments to me sometimes um, about what he thought of me and my life. And, and that's not a man's place ever um, for his daughter or for another woman. And um, uh, furthermore, you know, I've always wanted to get away from military people. And there's military people in my family um, that might go to, like, my dad's funeral. And so I just, I don't want to associate with them. Um, and, and that's my right. But, you know, I just know that um, no matter what happens, I, even when I'm extremely fucked up, still handle myself well. And so nobody should ever have a problem with me or tell me I need to do this or that or whatever. They should look at themselves and why they're um, going around assessing people when they don't have um, the right intellect or training or self-awareness. Um, and I'm sure a lot of them are doing, the, uh, you know, the best they can. Um, but 
society has always been harsh on intellectual women. Um, and men just used to shut them up in the attic, you know? Or what, put her in the crazy bin and say she's, it used to be called schizophrenia, then it was bipolar, and it's, all, it's just inferior men that don't know what to do with strong, smarter women. And um, I'm glad I haven't changed, and I still know who I am, and I am um, still, no matter what, can play fight with people I actually love, and I would never even go talk to or associate with people I truly dislike and um, I can argue with myself and remember and hold on to that I'm not going to give them one more chance because generation after generation after generation you know holy wars and um, men that uh, I, I think are probably the lowest form of um, animal there is on the planet. I don't think men should be allowed to hold property or drive cars or own electronics or um, get paid to do jobs. I think that they should still be um, at home for generations as like an affirmative action thing after what they've already done to the world. But that's my opinion. And there are so many men out there that agree with that and support it. And, um, and that makes me happy that I'm not going to change that just for, you know, some dick. That said, I do have my period a little bit again today. And I wouldn't mind if someone came over here and just had sex with me just to, you know, knock it up and shake it out and get all that, 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 that last day stuff out. That's the kind of stuff men are good for. And we should be able to call and have one come over and do that for us and then send them back away. That would be a good service to pay for.